Hello. So this here is an interesting sensor. It's interesting because it's actually two sensors but crocheted as one kind of circular piece of crochet. And when you wiggle the middle, you see the voltage vary. In one direction it increases or decreases, and in the other it increases. Increases. So the main part of this sensor is this gray yarn that you see here. This is uh, spun from short stainless steel fibers and polyester. And so when you stretch it, uh, you're causing the steel fibers to make better contact, more contact, um, and more paths for electrons to flow. And then um, there's a copper thread crocheted on either side of this kind of variable resistive yarn um, and the copper thread then goes to the edge um, uh, where alligator clips connect it to a uh, flora. We have the green going to ground, the yellow going to analog 7 and the red going to plus 3.3 .3 volts. And so when I wiggle it uh, towards the ground pin, I'm stretching the gray yarn between plus and analog. So the graph increases. So the voltage flowing between plus and the input pin is more because the resistance is less. If I stretch it in the other way, I'm decreasing the resistance between ground and the analog pin. And so the graph shows a decrease in voltage. And so the sensor was crocheted. It's similar to a potentiometer. Uh, with the potentiometer, you're turning a conductive wiper along a resistive track, either further towards one end or the other, increasing or decreasing uh, the voltage coming out of the middle pin. To draw the design, I started off crocheting with this white um, soft wool yarn. Then I stop and I crochet a full circle of copper thread. And then I crochet a double crochet around that copper with the steel yarn. But I don't crochet all the way around. I leave out a, a gap and fill that with um, some more of the white uh, wool. And then I can crochet with the end of that copper thread over that um, and come out to the edge. And then I crochet with the copper thread along the sides of the grey yarn and come out towards the edge. And do that on the other side too. And then there's no connection here between the two copper threads. So I'm basically creating a resistive sensor here and here. And then I continue to crochet a bit more around to make the circle big enough stretch in the embroidery hoop. And the middle connection I connect to analog pin 7 and then one of the connections goes to plus and the other to ground. So that's this interesting sensor explained.
and I find it interesting, but I'm not quite sure why. And maybe that's why I'm making this video, because I'm curious if anyone else out there also finds it interesting, and if maybe you have an idea why you find this interesting. 